Hey guys, Andres here. Um, just gonna show you guys a small demo here. We have is uh, we have a Azure DevOps uh, board that is an agile process board. And what we're, what we're gonna do be doing here is we're gonna be moving stories from this board over to our queue test instance over here. And those user stories will come in as requirements. So let's take a look at that. Let's come over here. I'm just gonna copy this and go back to the board and create a new one. Let's create a new user story. Throw that in here. I'll call this one number two. Throw that in the description also. Let's go ahead and save it. What this does, this is gonna trigger a webhook, which is then gonna call the QTAS API and we'll update it with a requirement. If we go back over here, oh, it's already created for us. So we see that the uh, user story came over here as a requirement. We get some fields that come over and we see the description here. The thing that uh, this integration does, it would also uh, update over. So let's go ahead and add an update. So let's just say update one. Let's go ahead and save this. Now let's go back to our Q test instance. Gonna give it a few seconds. All right, so now we're gonna click on the reload button. I'll save. And then I see that the description is updated here correctly. All right, so another part of the integration is that we have defects that are created in QTest, and they will also make it their way back into Azure DevOps. And I copy this here. Let's create a new one. This one is number two. Highlight, throw it in here, save and close. Right. Now if I come over to our board here, let me go back to items. In a few seconds, would you see that defect make its way back here? All right, there it is. So here's the defect. A little thing that the webhook does, it automatically tags it for us here. All right, and how all this is done is this is integrated via polls. So here we see that we have some rules here. Those rules are made up of triggers, actions, and constants that make that possible. So for example, here we have an action to sync uh, requirements from the Azure DevOps work item. So every time a uh, user story is created in Azure DevOps, there's a webhook from ADO that then triggers pulls and then ultimately pulls makes a call into QTest Manager, and that's how the items are created. All right, thank you guys, bye.